got size zone or enter. Like it's not possible. Because there have been medical issues with the same. Yeah. <laughs> Hi guys, uh, I'm Arjun. Uh, if you are using WordPress, you would have seen most of this time. Uh, most of the times, you'll be seeing an error saying that there's an error establishing a database connection. So this will happen. Uh, I got into this problem like uh, I ran my own blog in Amazon Micro Instance, and WordPress has a problem like uh, the Apache uses most of the uh, CPU. So what happens is like somebody tries to hit our website, the MySQL goes down. So there are so many forums in uh, online where they describe how to solve this issue, but really we are not able to solve into it because sometimes the plugin uses more CPU so that the MySQL goes down. <coughs> to overcome this, I have run a small uh, Node.js application, okay, which monitors our uh, MySQL connection to see if MySQL is, is up. If it goes down, uh, uh, Node.js application just boots up the uh, reboots the WordPress. Okay, so uh, I'm just using uh, this is the program uh, which I am using in uh, Amazon Micro Instance EC2. Uh, just I have used the MySQL uh, module. Then I'm just using the configuration and the child process. I'm using domain here and the send grid to uh, send emails whenever uh, there's a restart of my uh, server. So here's the thing. So the watch service is the one which is like. Uh, Initiate uh, is auto initiated program which gets started a uh, function which gets uh, started by itself. So I'm looking for the uh, error from the domain to see if anything goes. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so watch service is the uh, auto initiative uh, function which gets started by itself. Okay. And uh, the I have, uh, the first is the domain <coughs> error. If there is an area error in the function which is below here, this part. If anything goes wrong here, the domain errors gets uh, called up. So this check MySQL is the one which runs for uh, the timeout set timeout what I have given there. So whatever the time we are given here in the config, it will be taking it care. And uh, I'm just checking the. Uh, whole connection to see if my scale is up in my WordPress. So I've just given the uh, user ID password of my <coughs> the uh, my scale thing and the port number. So and this is the uh, command to just restart my WordPress server. I'm just using the Bitnami WordPress in the Amazon so that whenever goes down, uh, when something goes down, I just go in there and restart it. And here is the command like this part is for if you want to run your uh, part as the uh, sudo thing and if you don't want sudo you could just uh, use this thing okay and if there is an error any error in the uh, getting the pool connection this fun this call this thing gets uh, executed and this uh, executes the restart of the WordPress if there is no error this just uh, executes my check function again if anything goes wrong here then automatically the uh, something goes wrong in the domain part the main function I'm sorry if anything goes wrong in the my, uh, my check SQL then what happens is it comes to the uh, domain error part and just sends an email and again it restarts the uh, server and restarts uh, sets the timeout for uh, watch service which is this function and I'll just show a small demo of it Right now the WordPress is up. I'm just going to bring it down. I'm just bringing down the 
my skill part alone uh, let me start the uh, application then. sorry Yeah, 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 no, something D got added. That's it. okay. So I've just set it up in a way like it runs for every uh, six seconds, but you could set it for uh, how more, uh, how much over minutes you want. I'm just uh, in production. I've set it for uh, ten minutes, and I'm just going to stop the MySQL now. My skill is down and it has got restarted again. So keep it still. My skill not running, so it has restarted the server and it's back and up. That's it. So why not use something like Ascript? I'm sorry? Why not use upstart, INIT, like there are so many things built into the OS for this? Uh, for the which one? Node dot? No, 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 for starting my SQL or any service in the list. Ah, I just wrote it in Node.js, that's it. Okay. SendGrid is a paid service, right? You no, it's a free thing. It's a free, you <coughs> could uh, daily send, I think, nearly some ta thousand emails kind of stuff. No, I'm saying if you're really using it in production, you can better use Upstart. Upstart, okay. Let me try it. Okay. Any other question? Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Is it open source? Did you put it on GitHub? Yeah, it's there in the GitHub. Uh, it's in uh, GitHub TK12040. Yeah. If you want, I could just. <coughs> I forgot you could just. Yeah, it's there in the GitHub as well. I guess uh, you guys all know him, right? <laughs> it's John. Um, he will uh, introduce you to uh, S3 Front. Okay, cool. <coughs> so, uh, <coughs> 